this haven't been a problem for Uruguay in World Cup qualifying. 23 they've managed so far, and it could come down to goal difference. The team who squeezes into that fifth place position, the one which will ensure that their World Cup qualifying program is extended with a two-leg playoff. Which is with interception. Just getting there ahead of Jorge Martinez. Yeah, fifth place is probably the best that Uruguay can hope for now. Yeah, and again, I mean, coming down, but it's a, it's a hard job that they've got at the back, you know, the Peruvians, Vargas especially. You know, he's, he's going to have to have some engine, Vargas, because he's up and down the line, he's covering defenders. It's, it's a tough role when you have three central defenders not really wanting to come out into the left back zone and when you're going forward as Vargas does you're hoping that one of the defenders will cover you a little bit he's looking very very relaxed Mr Disolaire the manager in the 41 he replaced uh, Julio Arribe in um, August of 2007 so he's just over two years in the job but he wanted to quit 12 months ago but was Persuaded to stay on. Had a time in Europe as well as a player he was uh, with Valencia in La Liga for a while. Knocked on by Zambrano. De La Heza. Vilches. Vargas. Zambrano. We're now deciding to be a bit more patient. Have to wear by Godi. Aguirrean, not Christian Rodriguez. Solano very lucky just to get away. From Aguirrean, but Aguirrean, you know, he's using his physical presence in there as well. Are you guys giving an evil eye for a tackle that he's receiving? Might be an opportunity now for Uruguay, but they've got to settle again for the corner kick as Vilches steps in. This gives Uruguay a chance in the box as well. Peru is set please, always seem to get caught. Well gathered by Butron. He's eager to get through moving again with Palacios. And Palacios has been dispossessed, easily dispossessed. Gargano. It's been a frantic opening half hour. A lot of tactics getting talked on the bench as well. Obviously looking at something he's not very comfortable about. Experienced uh, Reina Torres on the bench. Along with the youngster, Viela. Concern for Uruguay will be the, the number of suspensions that they've had. And it is a major problem, isn't it, when you consider that uh, two yellow cards equals a one game ban. And 14 games into the qualifying competition, it's inevitable that key players are going to miss games. Well, it is, it's, the longer you go on, it's, it's like more or less like a league section, isn't it? Uh, it should have maybe after every like, five games, it's just kind of wipe it out a little bit. So that, that gives you the second half of the campaign to do it. But, you know, you could be riding on yellow cards, going into very, very important games. 
Diego Forlan here for Uruguay. They'll be without Lugana for their fixture against Colombia on Wednesday. Vargas. One again towards uh, Renifa. He's a big physical forward, you know, he always likes to get in amongst the centre-halves so, as he's played up to him. I think basically he's just half a yard offside. Renifa gets his chance because uh, Guerra is suspended. Spur is still alive here and eventually this scrambled away by Peru. Renifa certainly got a first choice for Jose del Sora and Peru. Just three minutes of international football in Peru's last six games. Just seven goals in 14 games in World Cup qualifying. Record shared by Colombia. Renifa, Chavez in the middle. Classics looking again for Renifa. Challenge which means that Peru have another free kick, one which they've taken quickly. Plasas just took that free kick just a bit too quickly. Zambran, regular season in the Bundesliga for Schalke, although he didn't play last season for them. Vargas again available. Chavez in the middle, Renifo in there too, easy for Castillo. A terrific attack kicks down, you know, Vargas on the left-hand side, he's the one that's been causing major problems down there. And Uruguay not using their counter-attacking tactics to great effect, it's all very, very slow for Uruguay at the minute. Are certainly prepared to be flexible, aren't they? With uh, Martinez pressing forward down the right and Christian Rodriguez down this left hand side. with the game. Just a book again by Alberto Rodriguez. One of those who the coach uh, Del Solo says has benefited from playing in Europe. Pointed out that uh, 10 of the starting 11 for Uruguay here, all featuring the top leagues in Europe. Feels that that uh, sometimes counts against his own Peruvian team. Palacios. Now Vargas. Done again by Palacios, the 36-year-old. Trying to pick out the 34-year-old, Nobby Solano. Egeret. Fusile. Fusile can't get away from Vargas, who's worked so hard for Peru in this first half. Breuac. Will be a goal kick. Nasty blow that for Godin. So this is the first of 